Now this month, a powerful new film is gonna debut based on true stories of the oppression of Christians inside Iran. The film is called Infidel. Here's a sneak peek right here. You gotta get him out. They're working on it, right? The, the, the government. Not a chance. The days of Entebbe are long over. As far as the world's concerned, you're dead buried. I can't give up on it. He's here, your husband. Your CIA, the two of you set him up. They act as if nothing happened in Virginia. Try to get me arrested. I came here to plead for his life. It is clear you are an American spy. I didn't come here to watch you die. We're not afraid to die. That's why we're going to win. I'm not afraid either. Well, you know him from person of interest in many films, including The Passion of the Christ. Would you please welcome back to our show, the star of Infidel, Jim Caviezel. Well, Jim, welcome back. You look terrific. Oh, I love that suit, man. And I love your tie. This film is a true story, but a composite, really, of, mm -hmm. of a lot of different things that have happened. Obviously, you were attracted to it, decided when you read the script that you wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. So why? Because he's a, a, a man who stands up for what he believes in uh, against, and that's really important today's cancel culture, you know? Yeah. You don't see that. And uh, so I, uh, I started looking things up and reading about the 21 martyrs um, that were slaughtered on that beach in Libya. Mm. And they had a chance to, you know, turn their backs on Christ. All they had to do is, you know, go to Allah and they were fine. Um, but they would they have didn't. been allowed to live if they just renounced That's Jesus. That's correct. They wouldn't do it. Yeah. And they put their love of Jesus Christ above their own lives, to stand for the truth, and this character has that in him. Mm. Is he the right guy for the job? I would tell you he thinks he probably isn't, but something leads him there. And when you go back to the Gospels, you read about Paul, Peter, all these guys are martyrs. Yeah. Where would we be in a, having a church? We wouldn't have one if people say, if Satan came up to you and said, look, I'll take your life. Oof, no way. You know, Jim, it, it, it's kind of sad because I, I think about people that are depicted in this film. Yeah. They've paid with their very blood right. to stand up for Christ. And there yeah. are people who get upset if they don't have their usual parking place when they go to church on <laughs> Sunday. And they have no idea what it means to pay a price to follow Christ. And I hope this movie will help people to, to recognize that uh, there's often a price to be paid for taking the stand. That, so many people are taken around the world. Well, when we, uh, Mel and I are getting ready to do the resurrection of the Christ, um, we'll be hit there as well. But yeah. look, we have it right here in, in the United States. We can't even go to church right now. Yeah. Okay, Th that's a violation of inalienable rights. And yeah. why our church leaders aren't speaking up and telling the state to go to hell? Mm. We've got to fight back. And there are very few people. And I, what's this guy's name? Um, MacArthur. Yeah, John MacArthur. He stood no. up. Yeah. But he's a one guy. Yeah. Where's the rest of the buggers, you know? And, and I have friends that have committed suicide. I have uh, buddies. I'm wearing my trident mm. here because uh, several seals have killed themselves. Mm. And they needed Christ yeah. in the church. But I believe it was done intentionally. But as Christians, if we, if we like that way of life, if we don't start standing up, and pushing back, uh, we will lose that way of life. It will be, it'll be a used to be Christian way of life. But even if there's just a couple of us that are willing to fight back, you know, it's worth my life. Mm. That, when you asked, why did yeah. you play this character? That's why I wanted to play this character because I absolutely believe in that. They're not gonna cancel Christianity. Yeah. Jim, I cannot tell you how much I admire and appreciate your courage 
Because a lot of people in Hollywood simply won't take the stand you've taken. And this film is going to be controversial because it depicts Islam, radical Islam, for what it really is. And even talks about things like honor killings. Do you worry that there's going to be such a backlash by people like the squad and others who will say that you're just a bigot, you're a racist, you're, uh, you're, you're some kind of horrible person because you're in this film? Well, then I just be in the big old pile of the rest of Americans because, you know, we're all racists, aren't we now? Mm -hmm. You know? It sounds that, like it. Well, yeah, by the time, once you scream wolf too many times, people aren't going to listen to you yeah. anymore. And that's why our media has lost credibility. Because when you don't stand up for the unborn, when you can kill them now, when yeah. they're in, in the third trimester, actually, you can kill them now when they're out in New York and Virginia. Just That's awful. a disgrace. Yeah. So I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't stick my finger in the wind and worry like some politician. I was led by God Almighty hmm. to, to be here. And I was, when I was a young boy, when I was a boy, I saw movies like Ben-Hur. I, yeah. I was moved by them and I was profound. I, I learned my Bible from that. Because mm. those images got in my head, and so it was a lot easier for me. To, they could get me to read by seeing those, those films. And then time goes by. Who, who would have thought? I, know, I didn't think I would be doing what I'm doing now, being on some screen playing a guy who's suffering for, representing people for, that are suffering for their faith, playing a guy who's suffering for his. But at some point, God calls you. And when he does call you, and he called me, it was done with the boy dates. Mm. It was, Jim, I need you mm. as a man now. That's your purpose. So, Jim Caviezel, I hope people will go see the film. It's called Infidel, and uh, it opens on September the 18th in theaters, something a lot of us haven't seen the inside of in a while. It's about time. And if there ever was a good time to go to a theater and support a movie, it's going to be to see this one. You see this man's heart. We love having him. And uh, I know it's going to be a powerful film that I hope will challenge you to stand up and be counted for Christ.